If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of the episodes where I come and visit your camps or shelters in Fallout 76. Today we are visiting another shelter by, wait, well, two shelters in fact, by Uranium Fever. And this is a responder's bunker with multiple levels to it. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure to hit the like button if you do. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want me to come to your camp and do an episode just like this one, then make sure to get in touch with me on either Twitter or Discord. All of the links for those are down in the description. Now, without further ado, as... Oh God, why did I use that phrase? Yeah. Let's just jump straight in. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye. Right then, second time round, we're checking out your other characters' builds. So what are we checking out today? Today we are looking at the responders' um, compounds. Uh, well, I should say, sorry, below the responders' compound, this is the responders' okay. HQ bunker. Um, and when we come inside, and you're going to have to excuse the doors that don't open the same way, I've since <laughs> learned how to do no, that. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I just think the double doors will ignore that. Um, double hinged, even. Yeah. Um, it's it's essentially kind of laid out like uh, a police okay. station. Um, right. So you've got your kind of open flat, open plan yeah. office space with your cubicles on the side. You've got the, uh, I guess, the lieutenant, because he's not the captain, the one under captain. His okay. office is here. Um, got a big clock on the wall um, to let everyone know how long they've got to work for. Um, if we just if we just scoot round back to the front, I'll show you the lock. All right. Um, you've got your toilet okay. there. I'm really happy to see. Apparently, no one's working today because nor. Apparently, no one's working today because normally there's a receptionist um, who would buzz right, you okay. in. Um, Clearly, wizard doesn't want to be that. That roll the deer. <laughs> he's, he's played that before, so he's not doing it again. Um, yeah, if we just head on in here, this is the uh, the lockup. So anything that the responders confiscate or anything that they deem too valuable or dangerous to be left uh, in other parts of the facility will be locked up and logged uh, on okay. this turn. Very well thought out. The thing I loved when I did when I reviewed this in the uh, actual uh, shelters video was that wall right here behind all of this. The idea that you had to actually throw that in and destroy it, yeah. like it's such a minor deal. Like you didn't even have to do it or anything. You could have just left that. The fact that you actually had the idea of doing that, I just thought yeah. it was really cool. So the, the plaster wall. Oh, so it's actually the behind. It's the uh, it's the wallpaper for the brick. Wall is I think the closest we have to the sort of worn plaster look that you'll find yeah. in most pre-existing buildings like this um, and the added bonus of that of course is that when you do destroy it slightly the brick on the other side shows through and um, yeah I was quite happy with that as well how that ended up looking it does give an added feel that this is sort of worn and torn it's a little bit dilapidated um, it's definitely not a new build. No, I love it. I love the just tall. That really fits in with the Fallout type of fort, Fallout three, just the old school Fallout type of vibe that used to get from going in, like the likes of the Boston yeah. area and stuff like that. And I just as soon as I seen the video for it, I was just like, wow, I love it. And then again in here, where possible. Um, it's not always possible because of the ceiling. We've got the concrete oh, yeah. um, foundations mm -hmm. as ceilings. Oh, oh dear. What's happening? I think we should be okay. If we just come around here, get out of his way. <laughs> How many outfits has he got on him? <laughs> so if we head on to... <laughs> yeah, he has an incredible amount of outfits. Um, if we come on through here, we come on to the, the uh, what is probably the third part of the facility, of this level okay. of the facility. Um, and this is for any anyone who 
has been a bit naughty in the wasteland and has done something the responders aren't a fan of. They are logged and uh, forced to put on some uh, prisoner clothing where they are then kept in these um, right. cells. Uh, this cell here with, with, with just the benches, that's for a shorter stay. Uh, and this one with the toilet and the chair and the mattress, that's for a longer oh, stay. Right. Um, oh, very nice. Again, behind you, we've got a very small office space here. Um, I guess it's anyone who would be kind of maybe keeping an eye on what's going on in here, making sure no one's planning mm -hmm. anything, I suppose. Um, some more of the destroyed yeah, brick yeah, on show. That's um, good. Like that. Right, it's kind of like a run down. A bit tight in there, so. Type of thing. It is meant to be quite old, um, and it hasn't really had. A lot of love and care in terms of the restoration. I won't join you in there because it's a little bit tight. But that is the um, yeah. interrogation room. I love room. what you did in there with the smoke machine in the top corner on the conduit. That looks awesome. It really does look like a yeah. kind of CCTV setup that you've got going on. Such a cool idea. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I, I thought it was a. To I, it's one of the more original ideas I mm -hmm. thought I'd had. And I went to one of the night shelters, night crawler shelters, and he had he done the same thing. Oh, nice. So it's a, it's a nice touch. It definitely it, it does look like a security camera when you turn it around. The only the only thing that's a shame with it is that you're limited to one. Otherwise, it'd be nice to kind of put one in each room, um, really give the feel that it's sort of um, there's yeah, lots of CCTV. Cool. But yeah, that that's we finished now in the on the first level of the of okay. the, uh, the bunker. Um, this is this is meant to look like a lift. When I edited the video, I actually put an elevator noise um, to make it sound like ah, we're going look down. Like Looks really good. Um, but if you if you if you join me in the lobby, we'll look through the second level of the facility. So yeah, this is the second level of the facility. Um, above ground, we had the sort of the open plan office space for the responders. We had the cells. We had the lock up. Now on this level, there's a small medical bay screw here. It's the first thing. Okay. Again, um, a bit dissimilar to the Free mm -hmm. States bunker, um, and to, to kind of show that it's more, a bit older and a bit less well thought out. You've got the fusion generator kind of just here. It's not got its own space. It's not okay. locked up. It's quite a secure facility. This one, so they kind of they don't feel like they need to have it, kind of in a centralised okay. location. Um, yeah, if we follow, if we come through in here, we've got some terminals and some workbenches, um, and just behind this curtain, symptomatic and a hospital bed for anyone who's a bit nice, unwell. Nice. How come you decided? Oh wait, to be fair, this is how come I looked at this first. I thought that was a prison door as well. I was thinking, why have you put two workbenches behind a prison door? But it's not a prison door; it's just a metal security door. So there's actually a, a matching set for the security door that's like a it's a it's a little bit different to the cage uh, to the cage uh, door uh, wall set I should say um, you, you're, it's all over the wasteland but it's like it kind of got the matching right. mesh sort of look I think it'd be nice if we had that to use but the jail cell kind of was the closest thing to that I think um, but yeah it's a it's very similar obviously to the cells upstairs. Um, just in here, we've got a small bathroom. Oh, well, plenty of bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like you should, there should be one on each floor because um, there'd be people doing different things in the facility. Um, Have a nice little kitchen setup going on. Yep. So this is kind of where. We come through here. This door, um, it is open plan, so kind of anyone could cook. There's not necessarily anyone who's designated mm -hmm. to do that, um, but this is sort of the living area or relax relaxation area right. for the responders. So they can sit down on the couch, watch a bit of telly, or they can come in here and relax at the cafeteria and be served hot food straight from the counter. What made you choose the roof for the floor in here? Um, I 
can't really remember. <laughs> the worst. Uh, that's fair enough. <laughs> no, I thought you'd just drag the floor I along. I, I, I do. I do. I do quite like using the roof mm -hmm. as floors. Uh, the asbestos one in particular uh, does look quite good as a floor sometimes, but I guess I just thought it maybe looked a little bit like a cafeteria floor. Uh, and it's quite dirty, yeah. the roof as well. Um, it, it's quite it's quite worn and torn. And while I really do like some of the, like the armor ace and stuff, if it's in quite bright lighting, it can look a little bit too clean okay. for my liking. Um, I feel like I've tried to justify that. I don't know. If it's again, if I'm honest, I'm not really sure why. But um... <laughs> I'm totally overthinking. I was just wondering if there was yeah, a reason another... for it. <laughs> <laughs> we got another camera up there. Um, again, it'd be nice to have a camera in all the different parts of the facility. But the oh, idea in here is this is oh, there. the right. captain's room. Let's try to spot the camera. I didn't see it. Continue, sorry. We've got the captain's room here, and we've also got the sort of um, CCTV hub, so they could see what's going on yeah. on the different cameras, um, all in this space. And just through in here as well, you've got the meeting room, for the responders, oh, nice. whatever they, they want to have a chat or start planning. Nice. You've got like the lead chair, the different one at the end as well for the captain uh, kind of setup. I like the idea of yeah. this observation bit. Yeah. I thought that looked really cool with the uh, observation thing above it as well. And obviously you've got the numbers for the monitors as well. Yeah. All nice little touches. I think I think in hindsight it would have I think there's a people use the terminals and a mirror ball, I think, to make it look like there's actual footage on the no, on some right. of the screens. Yeah, yeah. I think if I was to redo, if I, if I was to redo this, I think that's something I probably would try and do to make it kind of look like, yeah, there is actually footage on there. Um, yeah, that is. This is the at the end of the tour for the responders uh, compound. Um, it didn't use all the space in the lobby. There is still actually the back room just all right, there. Okay. Um, but I find it it can be quite difficult to um, to. Uh, link the rooms together without showing yeah. the vault door and it kind of I didn't feel like it needed anything no, else I wouldn't have thought so. um, it's hard but... to do isn't it because of building the walls so close to the doorways of the vaults you get a bit of a gap in between don't you yeah and that was uranium fever's responder bunker so I hope you guys all enjoyed I know I did I thought it was really cool really fit in with like that kind of old school fallout vibes or just to be fair, even Fallout 76 vibes, you go in, you've got like the old buildings and stuff, but really had that Fallout 4 type of vibe for me in particular. So let me know what you think in the comments, and yeah, let me know how you're enjoying the series as always. And yeah, support the channel by hitting the like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing. Cheers guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Just before we completely end the video there, I would like to say a massive thank you to Jeffrey Borst, and Captain Awesome for becoming Patreons on the channel. I did a little shout out at the end of the previous video saying thank you to the latest Patreon and then this one I'm doing it again and just you guys are absolutely awesome. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Like I said before, all the links are down in the description if you want to do that as well. And yeah, thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye. Big, big, big.